The countdown to a possible government shutdown just five days away now. Millions of Americans could go without paychecks, including members of the military and the Border Patrol. What House Speaker Kevin McCarthy said just today about some members of his own party standing in the way. Rachel Scott up on the Hill for us. Tonight, with the federal government on the brink of shutting down in just five days, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy turning up the heat on the handful of far-right Republicans standing in the way of a deal. Well, you have to keep the government open. I mean, if people want to close the government, it only makes them weaker. Why would they want to stop paying the troops or stop paying the border agents or the Coast Guard? McCarthy can only afford to lose four Republicans. And right now, he can't get his own party on the same page. The House took a six-week recess, and as soon as they returned, Republicans launched an impeachment investigation into President Biden. Funding the government is one of the most basic fundamental responsibilities of the Congress. And if the Republicans in the House don't start doing the job, we should stop electing them. Complicating efforts, former President Donald Trump, who is urging those Republican rebels, unless you get everything, shut it down. Caught in the middle, more than four million government workers who could lose pay, about half of them troops and military personnel. But it's not just government workers affected. For 42 years, Willie Joe Price has been working in the cafeteria at the Library of Congress. A shutdown would close the building and her paycheck would stop. Do you worry that you won't be able to pay your bills by the end of the month if Congress doesn't act? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. I worry about that. A whole lot. I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to cry. And since she's considered a federal contractor, when the government eventually reopens, she won't get back pay. We're not going to get anything. We got to try to scrape by and you got to listen to the phone calls come because you haven't paid your bill. Today, I asked McCarthy for his message for workers like Willie Joe Price. Can you assure them that this will be averted? Look, I'm working everything we can to make sure this doesn't happen. Rachel Scott with us live up on the Hill. Uh, Rachel, we know five days left and Speaker McCarthy still doesn't have the votes tonight. David, there are at least seven Republican holdouts. Remember, McCarthy can only afford to lose four. At this point, the only clear way to avert a government shutdown would be to pass a short-term spending bill. Those far-right conservatives in the House say they will not support that. And they insist if McCarthy tries to go around them and work with Democrats, they'll try to oust him as Speaker. David. All right. Watching it as always, Rachel Scott on the Hill. Thank you, Rachel. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.